installation process. So this is the flowchart for the pre-install. Uh, check before installation that everything in the box, prepare installation tools, determine the install, uh, installation location, move the inverter, install the rear panel or bracket, and then install the inverter. Inverter is fixed. Check the outer packaging that there is no damages. Check what's inside the box. Okay, very important. Everything should be here. You should only uh, use on the inverter part. This is um, actually quite important. Please use original MC4 terminals dedicated for the inverter. Don't, don't use any other ones, okay? Prepare the tools. Placement of the inverter it need to be uh, cover it by some means, okay? Don't don't leave that in direct uh, weather conditions because you're gonna shorter the lifespan of the inverters. Um, don't place it under odd um, angles. Don't let it be covered by the snow or direct uh, weather conditions. Make sure you have the inverter um, fitted and placed uh, vertically on the wall. Uh, allowable um, offset is 15 degrees. Keep the distances on the sides and top of the inverter minimum 30 centimeters from any obstacles and 50. This is for a proper ver ventilation. If you need to fit more inverters, you need to keep those distances. If you got this configuration, keep the middle one of that. If you have uh, rows on inverters, you need to keep the distances between them as well. Now the electrical connections, based on the current, you can, uh, you can choose the um, wires uh, sizes. Uh, connecting the DC input power cables, uh, a range between four and uh, six square, Recommended is four. External cable diameter is four and a half to uh, seven point eight millimeter. Make sure you um, strip the wire to connect the insert of the MC4 co uh, corresponding to this diagram. If you strip more, that can cause a short. Use appropriate tools for removing the MC4s. So this is the AC connector, um, it's going in a few parts, that need to, um, those parts need to go on the wire, this need to go on the wire, and then you can fix your wires into correct uh, terminals. Comport connection, it's a um, crucial uh, connection uh, that, that uh, many inquire that you have issues with, I was not sure which one to use, so basically, Pin one to four, it's either to connect the um, inverters in cascade mode. So one and three will be output input, and two and four will be output. So from first inverter two and four to one and three on the second inverter and until the last one. Last one supposed to be um, closed on the on the communication between uh, pin one and three with 120 ohms. Uh, Resistor. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the section that we need to focus, and uh, the most of the questions is about uh, communication to the meter, to the CT, which one to use, what to use. So we're gonna go briefly for. Um, so if you don't need uh, load monitoring, uh, you don't need to connect either the CT or the meter, okay? So uh, first option is to use the CT only, okay? So direct connection from the main incomer of the current transmitter to, to the inverter. It's pin 15 and pin 16. 15 uh, will be usually red, which is plus, and either yellow or black on some CTs, okay? This is option number one with the CT only option. When you have that option, you need to go at the inverter and choose in the um, PCC, um, PCC option, you need to choose PCC CT. So that's option number one for the load monitoring and that's CT only. Okay, so that will work, CT only work up to 30 meters between the inverter and the main incomer, okay? 
if the distance is greater than uh, 30 meters, uh, then we have option two. Option two is the meter plus city, okay? Meter plus city. There is a dedicated meter and a bit uh, bigger city because it's a, a 24 mil uh, diameter of that. Uh, the ratio on it is 2000 to one and that, that meter, dedica there is dedicated meter and dedicated city for that solution and that solution can be further extended up to 1000 meters, okay? So meter and CT need to be installed on the consumer unit or the fuse bo board. That uh, RS485 signal can be then extended uh, down to the inverter, okay? And remember, for the meter RS, it's been five and six. So uh, if you do in uh, multiple inverters uh, arrangement, okay, you can set up to 31 mod bus addresses. So that means you're gonna have up to 31 devices connected uh, to your array in parallel. City interface, again, few words about that. So um, plan A, CT, uh, it's default, but additionally it needs to be acknowledged and set on the inverter. Plan B, meter plus CT, that needs to be adjusted on the inverter as well, if necessary. So here we're gonna have a single line diagram. So basically, as you see on this one, uh, our CT is, uh, we got, we got two, two CTs for that option. One is 150 amps to uh, 50 milliamps which is 3000 to one. We also have uh, dedicated uh, CTs with the same ratio, which is 120 to uh, 40 milliamps. Both can be used directly to the inverter via pin. This is the option B. For the option B, between 30 and 1000 meters, you need to use dedicated uh, meter and CT. Again, we got uh, that city and meter as a additional uh, set. So we need to ask sales for the prices. And um, now we're gonna show you how to uh, wire it up. So the meter have uh, two points of uh, connection to power that will be uh, live on one side and live and neutral as a zero point on the other side, or um, they call it input output. Both need to be connected in, in that configuration. And then, of course, you have your CT connected from the meter, okay? Same, uh, same, same principle with so far is that the arrow on the CT need to point to the grid. Then the meter RS need to be connected to the inverter via pin five and six for the RS485.